Major unions that endorse President Biden praise him for prioritizing labor issues and passing signature legislation, and they're now deploying hundreds of thousands of volunteers to pound the pavement for down-ballot Democrats in the midterms. The issues at the top of their wish list, $15 federal minimum wage, the PRO Act, which makes it easier to unionize, and better coverage for child and in-home care. Now, despite union jobs declining in Mr. Biden's first year, labor officials point to the infrastructure bill as singular proof that more of those jobs are coming. Mark Zandi at Moody's estimates that funding alone will yield 800,000 jobs, about 90,000 of which will go to unions. Today I spoke to Mary Kay Henry, who runs the Services Employees Union, and in between her four-state door-knocking spree, she says those efforts are seeing results. Because we've targeted four million infrequent voters of color in the battlegrounds like Wisconsin, Michigan, uh, Pennsylvania, Georgia, Arizona, in those states, we're feeling increased momentum, both on the doors, on the phones, and through text messaging, which we know is going to be required to produce record turnout. Henry says her union's members have turned out up to 7% more early voters than the general public. And the largest national union, the AFL-CIO, says their members are backing Dem candidates in such volume that it could end up being a deciding constituency. Brian? All right, Kelly, union workers, like just about everybody else, uh, are getting hit by, by rising prices. Who are they blaming? I know you can't speak for all union workers, but you get the premise of the question. Who are they blaming for just skyrocketing inflation? Well, it depends on who you ask, Brian, and it's no doubt that inflation is seen as the, uh, the rhetorical fly in the ointment of what they feel is an otherwise strong economic message. But earlier today, I talked to Sean McGarvey, who runs the largest construction industry trade. He acknowledged that inflation may sway some votes to the right, but that ultimately he sees jobs as more important. McGarvey tells me his members are already contracted to build the new Intel factory in Ohio. They're staffed on airport projects in Michigan. And he says that there's more to come. And he says that 10-year job security outweighs price sensitivity today, although there's no dismissing that it definitely hurts on the bottom line. Yeah, guys. For, for sure. Kayla, thank you for that.